Hello everyone. I'm working in this uh, 1971 Pontiac Firebird owned by a gentleman, Miguel. He lives in Hawaii. So I've been working on this uh, project, uh, you know, coming for last six months. First, uh, you know, I searched the web to find the right hood. And then we got lucky, we find a manufacturer in, uh, in California. So uh, I got the new hood, and now I put it away. So when we're ready and uh, all the body panels are restored, we're going to mount a new hood on it. OK, this, um, this car. It's been in rain and, um, you know, the paint oxidated, you know, with uh, cracks, with uh, minor and major uh, damage spots. So, like this one is just like by the driver side on the door panel. And uh, I grinded and I sanded down. I didn't find much, uh, much of uh, rusted, only the surface rust. So I removed it. And uh, before I leave on the evening, I put the stop rust on it so it would not rust again. So uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been working on the, first I start uh, from the top. I have two large uh, spots on the top, in the, almost in the front of the front of the top. So uh, I sand it down with the 40, very carefully, not to damage the bare metal. Then I realized there are uh, some um, deep rusted spots and some um, veins, veins of, uh, you know, veins of uh, rusted spots. So like, like this one. And then there's this minor spot right here on the top, right here. So uh, I use the wire wheel brush after I, uh, Sand it down with uh, 40 with the sander and, and carefully carefully remove the the minor spot uh, in the middle and then uh, the um, you know the veins so that minor spot is is been is good it's ready that uh, I'm gonna fill it up with a mixture of uh, body filler. I have a special formula that I mix with. I use the top quality fiberglass and I use the aluminum base bundle. So that would be better than rather than a regular bundle. So uh, you know if the you know a spot is damaged that has a hole then I have to weld it and patch it with a uh, you know, a small plate, but if it's not, and it's kind of decent, then, you know, I just put the mixture, and then uh, I just go one layer, and then sand it down again, and I go for like a second layer, as you see it right here on the top. So, uh, in this way, you know, it will not rust after the, uh, refinishing and uh, priming. So, a lot of time I experienced when I was in the college here in uh, in LA in uh, auto body school. That if you don't do the right job or if you don't spend the extra half an hour, you're gonna come back another couple of months and then do that thing again. Like this one, I have one layer of a mixture right here. It look pretty good. I have to uh, I have to make another uh, thin layer 
and cover it up and, and sand it down and, and, and shape it according to the body panel uh, um, shape. So right here, then you know, I, I was looking the other day, then I find the front. So before I work on it, you know, I cover the, I see the, as you see it, you see the crack here? It's a deep crack here. It should be either minor rust under this. See how see this deep crack in the, right there, in the front where the grill are, and this uh, Pontiac. So uh, first I masked it and covered the, the grill too so the dust would not access to the engine. And also they have the uh, aluminum uh, trimming around the you know, headlights would not be affected by a scratch or, or paint. Then you have to you know, spend time and money to remove it by painting it and you know still the scratches are there so uh you know i'm hoping to uh just go step by step and by uh next few days here in uh, los angeles the weather is going to be good it's almost early december uh, 2015 so uh, i am you know hoping to do a really good job and then uh after I finish the body restoration, hopefully I'm going to take it to a, I have two, two of my uh, auto, top auto body uh, painter in uh, Carson and in, in Long Beach. So I have to discuss with them, show the demo video, see what they think. What I use here, I use uh, from the beginning, I use the sand, the sander, electric sander, and I like this new uh, round sander, sandpaper that has a hole on it so it won't get hot. So I use the wheel brush here, just a common, and it has all size of uh, wire, wire, wire wheel brush. So I, I use them, depends the spot that I'm working on. And I use the sandpapers from 40 to 80 for, for the, you know, for right, for right now. And another thing is when I'm working, my other teacher taught me to be very careful, always wear your uh, dust mask, your, your shoes, and then uh, safety glasses. So uh, I hope this is the first video, but I, I will be keeping in touch as I, I finish on this. So uh, I'd like to you know, my specialty is in a classic car. And uh, here is that uh, uh, Gold P Modern Auto Body Take at www.autotechmagazine.com. Uh, my email are on the uh, first pages of uh, autotechmagazine.com. All right. So long. Bye bye. All right.